what is going on guys my name is jay and thank you for tuning in to today's video it is december 13th and the daily loss sector is concealed void i want to say this is the easiest and fastest loss sector but someone else might not agree with that but in this video i'm going to be showing you how to easily do this loss sector in about three minutes if you're around the recommended power level now i will be doing this on a titan i have not done this on a warlock but i have done it on a hunter i will leave a link down in the description below if you want to check that video out if you would like to see me do it on a warlock feel free to comment down below i do reply back to comments so if you need any help or any suggestions feel free to ask me also timestamps are below if you want to go ahead and skip straight to the gameplay but i'm going to go ahead and show you guys what i'm going to be using in this build and why i chose to use some of these things also don't forget to drop a like and subscribe if you are new and you want to be recommended new destiny content and turn post notifications on if you want to be notified whenever i drop a new video with all that being said let's go ahead and jump into the build so starting off first, I'm going to be running Sunbreaker. I'll be running Bottom Tree Sunbreaker so we can utilize the sun spots to get that extra weapon damage. It's going to allow us to do more damage with our heavy weapon when we're at the boss room. So I want you guys to take note that it is solar damage increase inside of the Lost Sector. So both my energy and my heavy weapon are going to be solar focused. On my energy weapon, I have Vorpal Weapon so I can do more damage towards the boss and the servitors that are inside the Lost Sector. Also threw on Major Spec so I can do more damage towards the champions in the lost sector but you can also roll with boss spec if you want to do more damage to the boss i'm also going to roll with anti-barrier post rifle so i can crack the shields on the anti-barrier servitors that are inside the lost sector i also will be running overload rounds on my sky rifle so i can stun the overload champions won't be using the mod that stuns the champions and i'll tell you exactly why so instead of running thermal overload which is stasis or solar grenades cause disruption towards overload champions i'm going to be running surge eater instead and also also, I will be running Spoils of War. Basically, what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be stunning the Overload Champion and then just basically keep stunning him over and over and using my grenades to keep doing damage to him. Then when he's weak enough, I'll just go ahead and use my finisher on him with Spoils of War. It's going to grant me guaranteed heavy ammo for my Xenophage. I found this to be really effective because I'm going to basically be using Xenophage a lot throughout this Lost Sector and I want to make sure that I have enough ammo. Now, one of the best mods to pair up with Xenophage is wrath of Rasputin. if you don't have this mod i recommend keeping an eye on the gunsmith because he does sell these mods on his daily rotation i use this mod a lot with xenophage and killing a champion is pretty much a guaranteed war mind cell now you don't have to just use xenophage with this mod you can actually pair this mod up with a solar grenade that causes splash damage or something like dragonfly on a solar weapon I'll also be pairing this up with global reach because it makes my war mind cell blow up and affect targets from longer distance it's pretty much clearing out the entire room for me it's gonna help me cut down some time and ammo this lost sector is just falling so it's basically just a lot of arc damage going around so for my chest piece i went ahead and rolled with double arc resistance so i can take less damage from arc damage and if you're under light especially then i highly recommend trying this out for my exotic armor i'm gonna be running Saiten's ramparts it's honestly one of my favorite titan exotics in the entire game for both pve and pvp if you don't know what Saiten's ramparts does it allows you to shoot through your barricade now there is a trade-off to being able to shoot through your barricade you have less health on the barricade and duration of the barricade but honestly this is a top tier exotic if you are a lower level titan and you do have this exotic i highly recommend giving this a try this is going to help your survivability and it's going to help you in the boss room especially in the video you'll see exactly how i'm going to utilize this exotic to my benefit that is pretty much it for the build like i said earlier if you need any help feel free to comment down below if you don't have any of the weapons in this loadout or the exotic, feel free to ask me for any other recommended loadouts. Other than that, I hope that you guys enjoyed the gameplay, and I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm Jay, and I'm out of here. Peace.